this is SharpShot21 and we're back with the Voron V0 build. Today we are putting the bed on and putting the uh, build plate on the bed. So we are going to start with that. For this you will need the bed, obviously. Three M3 by 35 screws, three M3 nuts, some Loctite, the three springs, and some, th some thumb nuts. So, let's get started. Alright. So we've got the thumb nuts, we've got the bed, we've got three screws. I had to uh, file these down a little bit because I bored this for socket heads, not button heads. So, I had to file them down so they fit, but that's not an issue. Now, I've got M3s. Now I did tap this hole for M3. We are going to use that for the um, Gonna use that for the thermal fuse and the ground wire when the thermal fuse shows up. Those will both probably be done in the rebuild. And I'll just keep an eye on it for now. is done. Okay, got these all down. And drop the springs on. And I've undone the twist ties holding the uh, wires for this together. Now I'm going to feed these wires down through. I think I gotta go grab a drill and open this out or up a little bit, so I'll be back. Okay. I'm gonna grab the drill and some drill bits. I'm just going to hit it with an eighth inch. Yep. Okay, that should be it. Now we can toss. screws in here, or the springs. So, those 
now out of the way. Now, these are our McMaster. These have a little standoff above the knurling. We want the standoff up. Okay. Being that this is done, at least for the moment, and all we gotta do is run the wires down the cable chain. I'm going to break the chain open here so I can feed it up and then back down and then put the chain back together. And I'm gonna flip the this chain is awfully tight. There. Now, there's no good angle to show this, but if you remember back to the Z carriage video, there's a channel on the bottom of the carriage that loops over to the uh, cable chain mount. cable chain and then I'll tuck them into that channel There is a, way, a spot to zip tie these down, so I will do that so they stay tucked up out of the way. Okay, so that is done. Now, one last thing to do is mount the bed. Clean this down with some alcohol again.
think I want to mount the magnet by itself. That way I get the magnet square on the bed, and then I'll just mount the spring steel to the magnet. So this is a giant piece of 3M double tape on it. We're going to just start peeling about a third of it back. with getting as much air out as possible, otherwise you're going to have inconsistencies. And build plate temperature and that will lead to inconsistencies in your prints. this build plate right on top. So we've got the gold side, which is the PEI side. We've got the stainless steel side, which is not. So it's quite nice because you can, in theory, print like PETG directly on the steel and not have to worry about it sticking and ripping the PEI off. And then you can print your PLA and your ABS on the PEI side and not have to worry about it coming up from the uh, gold plate. And it's got a nice lip on the front so you can pull the whole thing off, flex it, plop it back down. Good to go. Next video we'll be doing the uh, fly carriage and then we'll be doing the uh, hot end. The Y carriage is going to be not quite complete, but we'll get into that in that video. Now this is SharpShot21. Thank you all for watching this video, putting the bed on, and uh, getting it, getting the wires run at least. As I did mention, there will be one more wire on the final version. I will do a couple of videos probably on the differences between this version and the final version once I get around to putting the final version together, which won't be until after the Voron 2.4 build. So, thanks for tuning in, thanks for watching, I hope to see you guys next time, and if you thought this was useful, hit that like and subscribe button, if you want to keep up with the series, hit the bell icon, and that way you'll uh, get notified every time I put a video up. If you got questions, leave them down below, and uh, I'll see you next time. Sharps out. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please hit the like and subscribe buttons. It really helps me out and it lets you know when I put something new up. New videos will be going up on Tuesdays or Thursdays at 8 a.m. Eastern. And if I do decide to do live streams, I will try to give 24 hours notice. So hit the subscribe button on the channel and you'll be notified when I post that stuff too. Hope to see you next time. Sharps out.